Hello friends, Andrew here at Shop 2022 with Brett from Dark Storm Industries. These are some really handsome looking rifles and that one is somewhat unique in the industry, right? Yes, this is uh, the first of its kind, new for 2022. This is a true small frame 308. Uh, we packed the 308 into an AR-15 platform. All right, so we uh, modified the receiver set, we opened up the magwell, we opened up the injection port to accommodate that larger 308 casing. And we only needed pre, uh, three proprietary parts to make this work out. So we have a proprietary barrel, bolt carrier group, and buffer tube. The rest of the parts in this firearm will use your standard mil-spec AR-15 parts. This gun weighs just 6.7 pounds and recoils like a 5.56. Solid. What about this one? This one here is our variant one. So we wanted something that stood out on the firing line, not just another staple black AR-style firearm. Uh, so we added a lot more tool time on this receiver set, a lot more detail. Uh, you can see uh, matching through the upper, the lower, and the handguard. Uh, because it is all one set, uh, the, the tolerances are a bit tighter. We have a Type 3 hard coat anodized base and then finished off with a custom tungsten Cerakote finish. This rifle was actually picked up by a prop house and appeared in several TV series such as The Purge on USA Network and a few Netflix films. This is really nice looking. There are Everywhere you look on this rifle, there are little touches. Yes. Um, your, your branding here on the buffer, you've got the, this takedown pin has the little uh, ring there and makes it a little easier to, to pop out. I've got these stubby little sausage fingers that's hard to get a hold of, <laughs> and that's super easy to get out. We do make a premium firearm. Everything from our upper receivers and our buffer tubes There's, are dry film coated. This bolt is pretty lightweight, though, with it. You know, that's that's uh, that, that's really unique. Safety first, right? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if, if you're not familiar, all firearms at shot are deactivated. Different companies do it differently. Sometimes they'll just clip the firing pin. Sometimes we'll, it's a lot easier to just remove parts like the bolt. <laughs> um, I noticed that the, um, even this Picatinny rail has these these little cuts. These are these are just cosmetic, right? It's cosmetic, they don't pr yes, perform so. a function, but they look really cool. And it does not interfere with the Picatinny. Every yeah. every run on that uh, Picatinny rail is accessible. The distance here is still spec. It's just this part is is cosmetically That's cut correct. out. That's and we profile match our handguards with our upper receivers, so we don't have any snag points. You can see that on the DS25 as well. It's a smooth finish all the way through. All this is our, a really um, cool design here. You have these little ears. Just index that, tabs. Yep. yep. Make sure you're lined up correctly. Our uh, buffer tubes, our upper receivers, they're all dry foam coated. All of our springs uh, throughout the firearm are electro polished. This makes for e easier uh, you know, longevity, slideability. Our extended takedown pins make it easy to field strip without having to use a punch kit, as I mentioned before. Something like our buffer, which you pointed out, our buffer is our Type 3 hard coat anodized base rather than a Type 1 or a Type 2. So it's a very durable finish. We use a hydrometer polymer for our bump stop. That's that fancy orange there. It is. And we spare no expense. Everything is done correctly the way that it should be on an AR platform. Does that mean there's going to be dinosaurs everywhere? <laughs> Nature uh, finds a way. This is beautiful. I love it. Thank Talk you. me through um, when these are going to be available and what the price points are expected to be. So the variant one is available. Uh, we just uh, cleaned it up a little bit for 2022. Uh, these are probably around a two to three month lead time right now if you are interested in ordering one of these. The DS25, however, this is still a prototype. We're hoping to get these out on market later this year. Um, the price point on the DS25 will retail for $14.95, under $1,500. The Variant 1 retails for $16.95. Now the DS25, something cool that we're going to offer is a builder's kit for this. Oh, okay. So nobody, uh, nobody I believe, has done that yet. Uh, that builder's kit will come with the upper lower receiver set and those three proprietary parts as we mentioned, the barrel, the bolt carrier group, and the buffer tube. That'll come in a nice pack. I believe that will retail for about $9.95. And customers can purchase that pack and build out as they see fit using these spec AR-15 parts. All right, well that's cool and all, but what about folks in like commie states like California? 
So we are the largest and leading manufacturer for 50 state compliancy AR style firearms. So whichever rifle you would like to purchase, we offer these in five different configurations. We have so like goofy stocks and yeah. know, magazines, depending on what sort of infringements are in your particular state, you're That's gonna correct. match those. So we have a featureless option, a fixed magazine option, post band, non-NFA, and standard. Those are our five configurations. So depending on which state you live in, any of you can uh, purchase and own the S25 or variant one or any of our models. That's solid. And you can find us on www.dark-storm.com. Dark-storm.com. Correct. Well, Brett, thank you very much for your time. Thank Thanks you so for much. putting up with my nonsense. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I love you.